This is a gathering to bring private foundations and the private sector to support Education Cannot Wait. Education Cannot Wait is a fund to provide education to children in emergencies. As business leaders and philanthropists, we have the critical role to play in tackling this issue. Harnessing your influence and leveraging your experience will be crucial to the success of Education Cannot Wait. Can I thank you, Tariq, for the fantastic job you do as head of Dubai Cares. And what you said this evening is what everybody wants to talk about, how we can help the 75 million children in total who are in conflict zones, not just to have an education and not just to be at school, but to be able to plan and prepare for the future, which is the only basis on which young people can have hope. With refugees now being in exile average 15, 20 years, you can easily see that entire generations lose the possibility for education. We look at the Rohingyas fleeing into Bangladesh. What is their future without education and how will they be able to maintain hope and to be able to come back and to rebuild? Many of us have met so many of these children in so many places, Syria, uh, Yemen recently, Iraq. Individuals like Muzum, uh, a young refugee from Syria, and she said when she came out, education gave me the strength to carry on, I wouldn't be here without it. We have about 1.3 million refugees in Uganda. Education cannot wait coming in at the right time. It's very, very helpful for us. Their money will help us provide education for the refugees. The most vulnerable people in the world deserve the highest quality education. It's too easy for people to say that education is a luxury rather than a lifeline. Education is what creates the foundation of any society and what makes a society thrive. Every family in these horrible conflicts, all they want for their children is a school and a teacher. I don't think that's too much to ask.